Raphael Sadiq. JD. Yes, sir. Chris. Yes. Yeah. So far, we've had during the um, the, the theatre fringe, the Fringe Theatre Festival. Are you you're not still worried about Jim? <laughs> well, I am worried you? about Jim actually. Uh, <laughs> though I did see him, he was buying a newspaper. <laughs> I can't mention the news agent; that would be advertising. But they're just opposite the Hevetry Health Centre, and there he was buying a newspaper. So I'm not really worried about him. <laughs> he's he is trying to do a deal to cut down his jail term. I can reveal why he's not been around. <laughs> And it doesn't involve us. This rumour that he's going to make up some false stories about us and trade them in for shortening his sentence is completely untrue, he assured me. But what he was doing out on parole, I'm not quite sure. He's, he's giving out information on somebody. But no, I'm not worried about him at all. No, what I wanted to say was, we came up with this um, DJ Buttons, who we left having been sacked round about the end of Act 3, I would think. Yeah. Things were very bad. But later on, things would get better. He was going to be offered a new extravaganza, which did have a television version to it, but also a multimedia, streaming, social media sort of aspect to it as well. But we left it all a bit vague, because we don't like to be too direct with the phonic management about what we think is missing by way of technology in the studio. So we approach it obliquely. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to ask you both is, um, should we stop doing this? Should we say what we want is A, B and C, and this is why? And uh, from an accessibility point of view, and um, a development point of view... It worked for me after nine years. <laughs> so you've, gone, you've got used to it, Chris, is what you're saying? It's just fine. There's nothing you would change. <laughs> Um, I think I might change the death thing wobbly <laughs> for nine years. Well, they've done that, haven't they? They've have, they yeah, have, they have put they a nail have, in the table after or something. Nine like. years. So you're very happy with the wobbliness yeah. of the desk, <laughs> or non-wobbliness. <laughs> and you you don't have a touch screen exactly, apart from your phone, which is about two inches by three inches. Yeah. Well, how many inches is it? <laughs> um, it's five point four point seven inches by about three. So, if there was a three foot touch screen hanging from the ceiling, would that improve your situation <laughs> very much? Um, oh, you'd hope it was connected. To <laughs> well, yeah, you're sh assuming it was connected can to we, Can we just not hang Chris from the ceiling upside oh. down? <laughs> yes. Then he'd be able to see everything. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Yes. That's true. Yes, all right. We could do, we could do it that way. <laughs> yeah, we can we move it around on a, like a, a tripod. And, and JD, yeah. apart from sending out still photographs every so often, mm. as a video extravaganza, <laughs> is there anything you would do about the lighting or the equipment or anything like that in the studio? Um, I, I would turn the lights on. You turn as, the as, a, as a major, major contribution towards it. Yes. So really, when it when it comes down to it, you're quite happy with things as well. There's nothing you can um, imagine that you might require. Well, not for what we do right now. As a as a sort of I'm, I'm audio only FM signal, we can more or less cope. Yes. We can Gosh. Yes. Gosh, <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm wasting time <laughs> on all this fiction, because when you get down to the reality of it, there's no dramatic tension in this situation no, at all. No, You're pass. both really quite content. <laughs> yeah. Well. yeah. Oh, oh, well. It works. Yeah, when, when Chris starts, you see, that's the nice thing. When Chris starts, we go and just have our coffee. That's what we do. So it's OK. Well, that, um, yes, if only that We don't true. need to be down here. We can listen to him. No. No, so what, what you're saying is really, in terms of just a two-hour FM radio show, mm. we, we, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. So how long do you think the audience are going to be happy with the sitting by their radio for two hours, hoping for the good bits to turn up? How about one second. Oh, so with the audience, <laughs> that, even now, just gone? <laughs> they've gone, that's and, it. And they're, that's they're it. listening have, again somewhere. We have somewhere. no audience. They, they, they think, well, who's Chris Norton? We, never know. we have never listened to him. And, uh, <laughs> so they've gone off for a podcast or streaming something or another. Oh, they've gone off for a coffee, I think. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, on that bombshell, mm -hmm. I'm going to play the, Chris's introduction music. Really? 
and the, the, show, uh, the show will go back to extreme normal. Really? Yeah. Mm, well, that's one way of describing but, it. But before you do that, there's no point me doing anything because no one's listening. Well, we may be wrong about that. This, this idea that everybody's given up on FM already, <laughs> yeah. it's not completely true. No. No. It's sti- I mean, FM still exists. Play that tune. Okay, <laughs> here, it, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> 